what's going on guys it's easy welcome to my channel hello query content is for no one i just did it with my warband party and it was quite fun and also i will be sharing some tips to how to complete this without having a lot of issues but i have to say intriga and utmars both bosses are really dangerous and both of them have area damage effects so it makes them really hard especially when you have to avoid those attacks coming from them this boss is full lightning and has a lot of minions around him and the hp is 200 million which is fine that's not a lot but you really have to keep an eye on the ground attacks there because if you don't and you get hit by the lightning then you will be receiving damage from the boss an icon will show up on you with the lightning effect and it will start knocking you up giving you slight damage every after a second so having a necromancer would definitely help if you can have extra damage immunity we did had one but since it's with our first one i was just dodging all these attacks from the ground because they actually deal a lot of damage so i would highly suggest that you use movement skill not from the slinger which gives 10 percent movement speed and that should help you avoid those ground attacks other than that this attack is quite really easy to avoid just stay really really close to the boss and then move around in 360 and you won't be hitting getting a hit from it so this is one of the easiest attack to dodge but after this here he will start from the outer side attack then his laser will start from the inner area so here you have to stay in middle and avoid that and then he is going to shrink the ground with lightning this is a tricky part here you will have to avoid a lot of these beams but we did it and there were like only three players or four who had the combat rating for this so if you're going to do this with full party that have the combat rating then this boss is going to be a lot easy and moving forward to the second inferno one heliquary boss which is of course the final boss utmars this boss is going to be really deadly especially in later gauntlets he has four effects around him which pretty much deal damage to you and you have to make sure that you interact with the lantern here to make sure that it uh, actually help disperse the fog in your surrounding so here there was no fog so i did not bother with interacting with the lantern just yet and i started dealing damage and you can see the fog is starting to spread out and now is the time for me to interact with the lantern and lantern is going to help disperse the fog from your surrounding and the closer the boss is going to be dying the more fog effects he is going to drop and also here he does the ground attack i'm not sure how to avoid that but best way to do that is to have a necromancer damage immunity this way you can have a higher chance of survival so i am really in bad situation but the area over effects from this boss is actually a lot easy to avoid the only dangerous thing is the fog so you have to make sure that you get that lantern all the time on you especially later on otherwise he's going to instantly turn the ground into fog then you're going to receive a lot of damage and even the necromancer damage immunity is not going to help and also he is going to start destroying those lantern randomly so you have to 
keep an eye out making sure on the mini map which cleansing lantern is left to interact with because this is crucial for completing this boss here you can see i did not have the lantern therefore i cannot disperse the fog but now that i have i can interact and also he turns uh he makes his clones and you need a lantern if his clones are staying within the area of fog so you can disperse the fog and bring out the real utmars out so you can deal damage and he's down to half his health and here all his clones were covered in with the fog so you needed the lantern help to bring out the real boss here and as you can see the closer we are getting to completing the boss the more folk effects are showing up so lantern are really close crucial here along with the necromancer i would say and also our warband friend here bookie was giving us buffs which were nice and here you can see the entire ground has turned into fog and there was only one lantern left and now we have to figure out which one is the real utmar so get close to him and eventually the real one will be out from the fog and that's how we did it so it was quite a nice and really nice learning curve for these two bosses and i hope this helps as well for you guys and do let me know how did you guys do it or if you're still looking to complete one and i'll be showing you guys the loot but it was quite suck to be honest but anyways this is it for the video and yeah you can have a look <laughs> at the loot it was quite suck but anyways i'll see you guys in my next one until then take care have fun and bye guys Thank mm -hmm. you.